today we are going to talk about the one question that everybody has is how do I get more clients on my discovery call? It new to me i'm michelle and i am a visibility marketing coach and i help coaches like yourself who are badass queens who's building a full-time coaching business to get yourself out there to get seen get hurt and get paying clients if you are here chances are this is something that you've been wanting to know and you probably have heard a lot of different strategies and marketing tactic that get your client to book a call with you and you have probably tried these lead generation services and agency or you might have gotten quite a few dm where they're advertising about how i can get you more leads and therefore booking more clients today we are going to tackle this and i'm going to kind of just go through this because i know a lot of you have this question about how do i get more clients to book on my discovery call first of all that's break the myth because a lot of you are using discovery call as a demo to how you work with coaching clients right your idea of doing a discovery call is to simply to create and show them how life coaching works or you're actually using discovery call as your sales call. I know it's a word that nobody likes to use, but essentially, if your goal is to actually get paying clients and what you're doing on that discovery call is actually to make sure that this is the right client for you and this is something that they actually want so that they can pay you and start working with you, right? So despite the fact that you may not like the idea of, oh, this is a sales call, but it is what it is, it's a sales call. And so why don't you just call it as it is? It's a sales call. And that clear out a lot of confusion and your feeling about what I need to do in order to demonstrate the value that I can provide, right? So if you're going to do it as a sales call, you're going to offer them a, a coaching package at the end of the call. Just call it as it is. It's a sales call. So knowing the difference between uh, giving a coaching demo versus this is a sales call, then how you get people on your discovery call is going to be very intentional, right? So uh, one of the questions that came through uh, to me was that, what are some of the tips and tricks of connecting better with your clients in the beginning of that first call? Well, if you have to build trust, if you have to get people to like you, if you have to build that relationship in the beginning of the first call, then you're doing it wrong, my friend. <laughs> Why? Because by the time they book a call with you, chances are they have already gone through your content. They really like and resonate what your message is saying and how you have demonstrated over a period of time that how you can help them. So by the time they get onto the call, there's a level of trust that's already built, right? So your argument might be, well, people are coming from a different journey and they might find me through social media, word of mouth, and they might be through a networking connection. So I really don't know where they're coming from. So I kind of just wanted to gauge them in terms of where they are on that journey and how they found me. Well, here's what I have to say with, with, with regard to that, right? How people find you is almost irrelevant on your discovery call. They found you, period. And so the fact that they're willing enough to book that first call, it's a level of commitment. They understand that you have something that they want. And if they saw the value and they're committed to actually want to work with you, then they're going to take that commitment and take it a step further and they're going to book that call. If you have to get to convince them to actually, I am your go-to person and I am the one who has that solution for you. If you have to do that on a call, then that means you're not doing a great job in your marketing messaging. It means that you're not doing a great job in marketing yourself as a coach. Okay, so if that's the case, I'm going to share my link because we need to talk about how you get people to become familiar with you and maybe there's something about the messaging that you're putting out there that has a disconnection. And you and I need to 
talk about like how can we better your marketing strategy so that your first call does not become a a call where you have to do all the work to trying to convince someone that you can provide value for them. That work should already be done prior to they clicking that button and booking a call with you. There are marketing strategies where you build that trust way ahead before you get them to book a call. And so the trust is not built on the discovery call. The trust is built before you get people onto the discovery call. And if you can earn their trust, if you can earn their commitment to actually wanting to book a call, they're too cold for you. And so when you do get onto that discovery call, you're going to find yourself spending a lot of time trying to convince someone why they should be working with you. And that is going to be very exhausting. If you're doing one-on-one coaching, especially for, for you ladies who's doing the beginning of the coaching, you're fresh, this is not your thing. You're spending a lot of time just proving to someone that you're worthy of their time, their money, their investment. And that's not something that we want to focus on. I want to show you a better way of how you can have committed coaching clients who's willing to pay you and willing, excited to work with you even before they jump onto your discovery call. If you have to do a lot of convincing, they are doing too much work and, and we can take a lot of doing a lot of that work prior to that call. So I just dropped the link down below. So you need to grab a call. We need to talk about this. I can show you how. All right, so how do you get more clients on booking that discovery call? Remember, the work is done prior someone have that commitment in booking a call with you. I'm going to share three things that you can do today, right? To get someone to actually click that button and wanting to book a call with you. One is you definitely want to be more visible on, on social, right? If you're planning to leverage your social presence or social media as your channel where people are getting to know you or discovering you. So you definitely want to be more visible. It means that you're posting regularly right? And consistently in terms of like, when can I expect to hear from you? So if you're following me, I post every single day, right? You will see me a lot of time on Facebook. Facebook is my go-to platform. So I'm on Facebook all the time, right? Every day, I'm pretty constant in terms of creating posts. I have posts here on the business page. I also have posts on my personal page. You definitely want to check out my personal page as well. It's Coach Michelle Quay. If you go and friend request me or just follow me, click that button, you'll be able to follow me along like all the daily posts I'm creating. Okay. So that's another place that you can find me, Coach Michelle Quay, which is my personal page. And I love connecting with you on personal level. So please do and go connect with me on my personal page. So that's definitely one thing that you wanted to do in order to build that trust way before people jump onto your discovery call, right? Remember, by the time they jump onto your discovery call, you're either dis assessing or deciding whether or not this is your client, whether or not you as a coach want to work with this client. And they're also de deciding this for themselves too, right? Because, well, what if they don't resonate with certain message that you share, or maybe it's a method or the way that you talk or whatever it is that they decide this is not for them. And that's all good, you know? Bon voyage. <laughs> we all go our separate way I wish you the best right but discovery call is where the place is about and it's not so much about convincing someone hey I can create a lot of value for you I am your go-to coach and this is why you should pay me to do this that's not the place to do that on a discovery call and it is certainly not a place to demonstrate your coaching skills you are impeccable your skills and it's all there you do not need to convince someone that you are the go-to coach period so you want to be visible on social, you want to be active, you want to make sure that you have your online presence. All right, so that's number one. And so the second thing is that you want to make sure that you're actually talking to people. I, I see a lot of coaches are just throwing out posts out there and they're not actually talking to people. <laughs> I mean, you have a people business and you need to start talking to people. And I don't mean that every time you talk, it's all about business, right? People have a life and people have interests. So you want to be able to like act human. And I think this is a lot of coaches and even just business owners in general, people forget that they're people before they have a business. And so that once they have a business, it's like suddenly this idea of I am a person that got thrown out of the window and they have no clue of how to engage and how to talk to people. 
people. Just because you have a business doesn't make you like any less human. It actually makes you more human because now you're a service provider and you're out there helping people. So you wanted to talk to people. So when you post, you don't just post. You wanted to think about like what is this post going to do? Is it going to bring me more conversation, or is it going to be like sending people off to the wonder world and like people just disappear? So definitely talk to your people. Okay, that's my tip number two. Now, tip number three: if you want to get more clients to book a discovery call with you, then you wanted to make sure that you are comfortable. Okay, in selling. <laughs> I know you hate that word, and I did too. But a lot of us think about like, oh, on that discovery call, I, I provided all these amazing values, and now I have to tell them about the price. I have to tell them about all these things. Well. You have a business too. You have to survive. You have bills to pay, and there's nothing wrong in bringing up the price when you have already earned their trust. They trust you enough to actually click that button and book a discovery call with you. So then you earn the right to actually share your pricing and talk about what you do as a coach and how you can be able to help them. So all this is going to help you to actually get the paying clients. Okay, so. How do you get it? How do you get more clients onto your discovery call? Number one, you need to start way early before they even book a call with you. Okay, before you even think about, I'm going to ask the commitment and get someone to book a call with me. Ask yourself, what have you done so far in order to earn their trust so that they can commit to booking a call? Right. If you have not done that homework before, then we need to work on that. And there's a link down below. Definitely grab a spot on my calendar. We need to talk about your strategy because something is not working, okay? And so they're hesitating to book that call. If you've been very active on social, and I know it can be very discouraging when you don't see that result coming in, when you don't see that discovery call getting clicked, we need to look at what's missing and how can we do it better. So there's a link down below. Grab a call. Let's talk about this. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. Drop it down in the comment below. What has been your biggest struggle in terms of getting potential client to actually click and book that call with you? Okay, this is from a question I got earlier this week, and I thought this is something that's really important to bring out to your life. And I hope that I'm going to do more of this. So I love for you to drop your question down in the comment section below so that I can create more videos like this. Bye.